Hello friends, I am Ankita Joshi, uh, Assistant Professor Biani Group of Colleges. Today I will be taking the topic defamation and we will be discussing about the types of defamation, the definition of def defamation and uh, plus we will be discussing about the essential elements of defamation. Now when we are talking about defamation, it is uh, mentioned in the section 499 of Indian Penal Code. Defamation is injuring the reputation of someone by the word spoken or published or maybe by actions, by our behavior and uh, it is actually defamation is to defame or to uh, shun anybody's image, to tarnish some, somebody's image, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a way that people start avoiding that particular person or it creates hatred in somebody's uh, 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 somebody's heart uh, for someone. So, when we talk about defamation, now here is the definition of defamation. Publication of a statement which tends to lower a person. Now, it is actually publication of a statement that would lower a person in the eyes of right thinking members. Now, the right thinking members of the society are the people who are the right thinking members who think right in the eyes of such members of the society when you are lowering the position of a person um, and generally which makes them shun or avoid that person and those people those members are actually they are avoiding or they are uh, they are uh, avoiding that particular person or they are not talking to that person or it is actually creating hatred in the um, uh, in the hearts of such person. Now, when we uh, come to the two parts of defamation or two types of defamation rather, that is the libel or slander. Now, when we talk about libel, then it is a permanent form of the defamation. That means, when a statement is published. Now, when we talk about libel, it is an untrue statement which is published about someone, which is essential element uh, of defamation actually. When the statement is pub published, then it is considered to be defamatory. Now, when we talk about slander, slander is any untrue statement about someone but it is spoken. Now, suppose when a person enters into the office and the other person uh, by his gestures, uh, he speaks that this person, you know, has stolen the watch of so and so. If someone asks that who had stolen the watch of Mr. X and by not by your, you know, by, by publishing a statement, but by the gestures only you are pointing out that this person has stolen the watch. So, this is also a kind of defamation, but it is in a momentary form, it is actually slander, it is in a temporary form. Now, when we talk about libel, something which is printed, something which is written, so that is addressed to the eye. But when we talk about slander, then slander is heard by the ears. You are speaking something bad about someone, something harsh, something very, very cheap about someone. So, that is somewhere slander. Now, when we talk about permanent form, now permanent form is the libel, which is the permanent form, which is the printed form or libel. Then comes the momentary form. Now, when we talk about slander, it is a momentary form or temporary form as we talked earlier also. Then this is actually libel is a serious form. So, it is considered both civil as well as criminal wrong. Now, civil wrong is that we are injuring the reputation of someone by speaking something bad which is legally wrong. And when we talk about criminal wrong, then the even if the words are spoken for a particular individual, but it is against the state, it is against the entire society. So, basically it is considered both civil and criminal wrong. And here slander in most of the uh, countries actually, it is considered as civil wrong, but in India it is considered both civil and criminal wrong which is punishable under uh, section 499 under IPC. Now, when we talk about the uh, civil as well as criminal wrong, we already said that defamatory statements are both civil and criminal wrong. Now, now, there is a contradictory thing that is reputation and freedom of speech. Reputation is also considered a part of the property of someone. It is the most important property of someone. Everybody has right to live a dignified life. Now, when the reputation, we talk about the reputation and the freedom of speech, 
which is given under Article 19.1a, this is the right given to each and every individual. We have the freedom to speak about someone, we have the freedom of speech and expression, but there is a limitation to this particular right and that is that we cannot tarnish somebody's reputation by the freedom of speech and expression. Now, the essential elements of a defamatory statement or defamation. Now, when we talk about the essential elements, first of all, if the defendant is speaking something or publishing a statement, it should be against the plaintiff. Now, this is very much essential. The plaintiff, it should refer the plaintiff, the person who is actually uh, filing the complaint. So, he is the plaintiff. Now, it should refer to that person only. It should not refer to somebody else and he is going and filing the complaint. So, that is not the point. The particular statement must refer to the plaintiff himself. Then comes that it should be a false statement. Something which is uh, false, something which is actually tarnishing the image of someone, which is, uh, which is uh, you know, creating a kind of bad image of someone in front of others. So, that is the false statement and then comes it should be published. So, that is also an essential element of defamation that the statement must be published. So, thank you for watching my video. I hope you understand that what is defamation and do not forget to like, subscribe and uh, comment on our uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much.